life is so simple, but always there, there's always this hurdle of um, being able or not being able to express exactly what's in our minds. So I'm going to do some lists because it seems that people like them. But the number six is not really a good one, right? So my next post is going to be seven advantages of living by the ocean for Irish negative people. So number one would be the great oxygen supply. I've talked to you guys before about how we have a need for good oxygen supply because our the absence of the RHD protein in our blood, uh, that protein is responsible for transport of oxygen and transporting out CO2 and toxins and etc. etc. And when you have a good oxygen supply, also remember your brain, everything. People ask, you know, how can it be that blood type uh, impacts so many things? Well, your blood runs through your entire body, and that includes your brain. And you feel completely different when you are at the ocean, right? When all of a sudden you see things very, very clearly. Before you were not able to see things clearly, uh, you suddenly unsolvable problems seem very solvable simply because you are in tune with nature and everything feels right and i know that they are you know i'm if you disagree with me on anything i'm saying please let me know i have plenty of people who agree with me i'm not looking for agreement i'm looking for real comments from you fresh seafood i've talked about vitamin b12 deficiency for example i've talked about so many things that so many of you are taking supplements for and you know our ancestors didn't have supplements our distant ancestors they had fresh seafood on a daily basis and who knows what else our body may need that science has not uncovered yet right so i always believe in eating as natural as possible eat fresh and eat natural then you can allow your cravings to dictate what you eat because if you crave potato chips what you crave are the artificial flavors so it's got onion flavor whatever buy some onions instead you know what i mean you don't crave uh potato crisps unless if there were no spices or nothing in it you wouldn't crave it and some people of course have i mean some it's you know what the way you do anything is the way you do everything i truly believe that i'm thinking about some of the wrong advice i've gotten from a few people and i have to say retrospectively like everything every time they talked you know i had this really weird feeling and i always thought well maybe i should Maybe it's all in my head, I should give people a chance, but when you are so full of bad advice, you become bad advice. Like you are just, uh, you know, when you see somebody who's healthy and happy, you don't have to listen, that person doesn't have to talk too much, you just kind of look at this person and say, wow, I want to be in this. You feel something, you know, when I see Mike Judge on Howard Stern, I know he didn't have to tell me that, you know, surfing in the ocean changed his life i know something changed you can pick up on these things you know and i know that i'm not talking out of school here i know that you guys tell me the same types of things that i am expressing and uh i will keep on expressing this so this is one of those videos where i know it's only gonna reach hopefully every irish negative Ocean water is healthy. I talked before about our sweat can sw smell like ammonia, for example. And that's from the same study about CO2 and oxygen transport. And I still can't believe that lady killed herself, the one who did that study. And I was about to contact her many years ago, and I contacted Professor Flegger instead. And I'm always thinking, wow, how could things have changed? You know what I mean? Sometimes maybe how significant how much more studies she could because i was wondering all these studies are so old right from so long ago when is she, when is from that same direction something new going to to happen 
I believe she was the one who uncovered it. In our own study, you know, in the beginning, the abstract, we uh, discussed the, this very thing. We wrote about it. It's a very important part of our study. That wasn't even our study. So, I'm going to have to look it up again, my own study, after I do this video. Um, ocean water is healthy. The salt, there is a detoxing effect. Okay, and Eleanor advised me the other day, you know, one or two liters of pure lemon juice per day is great for detox. I, I don't disbelieve it. By the way, this is not a medical advice at all. This is just for entertainment purposes. So um, see a doctor if you have issues and so on. Ocean water is healthy, right? Yes, it is. It's absolutely healthy. It has health benefits. Let me let me be specific about that. Um, so your body, you know, when you have difficulty uh, releasing via blood certain toxins, they will come out in whatever way they can, and that's via sweat, among other things. And people have told me uh, things like they have four children, two negative RH negative and two RH positive. And with the RH negative ones, they say before they get sick, before the symptoms even show up, the sweat already, they can smell the sickness. Have you ever smelled a person's sickness? You know, all of these things that my whole life I've been hearing about. And some of it was, you know, superstition and stuff like that but uh these so-called old wives tales oh my gosh so many of them are really really true and yes i understand many of them are very very dumb but uh some people you see it's it's a matter not a matter of how old you are it's a matter of you know there are these people that are wise and they often keep it to themselves because they don't want to be ridiculed because they we live in an idiotic society and the next one is peace in nature i mean do you feel do you feel uh, at p at peace when you are in nature when you're around animals wildlife i mean i do you know and many of you have expressed to me the same kind of thing so, so um it makes a difference. It makes a difference when it comes to what do you look at? I mean, I'm looking out of the window. I'm close to the beach, but I'm also uh, away from the beach. How close am I? Let me think. Maybe 500 meters, something like that, you know. And um, I see high buildings, but there are beautiful palm trees on the two, four, six, eight, ten, on the twentieth, on top of the twentieth floor, I think, or twenty-fifth or thirtieth floor, maybe. I don't see the whole part of the building. A beautiful part. My, Im Im immediately, my eyes are drawn to that, and the sky is pure and clear, and there are no airplanes in the sky. There is nothing. It's just blue sky, but there's a crane. There's a lot of construction here. I realize. When I'm by the ocean and look out the window, immediately what I see is what is important to me. You know, it's, it makes such a difference when you wake up and you look at stressful people or evidence of people's stress. You know, the evidence of it is like, uh, I don't know, you see compact, you see people, oh my God, there are some, I mean, I don't even want to get into it, but remember, you know, many years ago, the population of the world, I mean, the world population has exploded beyond imagination, right? I mean, we need to keep that always in mind that before, maybe it is, uh, the Neanderthals had it right. They had small groups of people. It was manageable. And in Africa, the tribes also, right? It was, and, and maybe in other, I don't know how it was in Asia, but, you know, maybe that's our nature. And the other one is now swimming, of course, when you swim on a daily basis, it keeps you fit. Just being in the water, you know, I mean, I, I talked about William Shatner before, who's 90 years old and looks like 60, right? I mean, there was this older 
interview, he had a lot of interviews with a lot of different people here and there. And I guess he was a guest on Rush Limbo show and people were like, it's hard to imagine that he's 20 years older than Rush Limbo. He looks much younger. And you know, Rush, of course, passed away, but um, it really, I mean, I mean, it's not about the number, how old you are, but how, you know, it, it's, it's like a car. If you have a 50 year old car that's been sitting in the garage for 40 years and has 10,000 miles on it total, or you have a 10 year old car or 20 year old car and this has 2 million miles on it. I mean, what would you, what do you think will last longer? This is kind of how our bodies are. The wear and tear, the maintenance and so on. And you don't, I mean, I don't think that it's very much our thing to like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I know some of you are going to fitness centers and gyms and so on, but is weightlifting, is that sort of what you're drawn to? I mean, for me, it's playing tennis, golf, uh, other things like that, you know what I mean? And then doing what my body tells me, or doing what I like, really. That's really what it's about. It's not, life is all about these programs, man, where people just are expected to be lazy and, and worthless. And then somebody else comes up with the program that you need to do this every day. And da, 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 da. I believe, honestly, having access to the right things makes all the difference because there are many times you want to do something, exercise or eat well, but you just can't get it. So you're like, well, let's just hit Mickey D's right now. You know what I mean? I'm not going to... Don't make it difficult. Put yourself into the right position where it's not so difficult for you to be healthy. That's all I'm saying. So that's why oceans, I think, are very wonderful. So you can just, even if you just go 10 minutes, that's better than nothing. William Shatner said, 30 minutes every morning even if he swims or not makes no difference at least be in the water it makes a huge difference and i've said it before men create corners nature creates a flow and the number pi i always focus on that it's always there it's always sort of like um in us around us with us and something magical happens when you are around and inside of the water I feel like that. Pollution, there is no p less pollution, of course, better air. Um, there are a couple other things that I'm going to add to this. Um, great air, I guess I will add to this great air. I repeat myself, not really, it's not a direct repetition, but a lot of things go hand in hand and I like the number seven. Seven is a good number. There's a reason so many articles are, it's either three or seven or ten, sometimes it's five, you know what I mean? So I'm going to add it now, seven advantages of living by the ocean. Guess what? I'm going to publish this thing right now. I'll edit it later, but thank you all for watching. I've published it. It's incomplete, but do I care? No. I see far too many well-written and well-structured articles that have absolutely nothing to say. And I think it's... And plus I'm sharing my video of a place that I totally fell in love with. A real beach, not one of these touristic beaches where it's so full of you know, where the noise pollution, the noise pollution also, the people that are there, it can be a very, oh my God, I'm getting, you know, I live now in this area, the type of area that I used to come and visit, and you get really sick of people very, very quickly, man, very quickly, it happens, where you're just like, um, you see, you feel the emotional garbage that they carry from wherever they're from, right? And they want to unload that garbage. And of course, they have worked a year and they made the money. And money is energy. So you give energy. You give so much of yourself that now suddenly they expect to 
have everything replenished within a couple of weeks and that includes you know going cr uh, that, you realize just how ugly this world is man when you see beauty around you on a daily basis i'm surprised that my video is still working i'm surprised my battery is still going i'm surprised that my storage is not full yet and i'm surprised how well this video turned out and sure enough this picture is also a part of what i like to look at in every on an everyday basis and i will leave you with another picture oh this is what i'm looking at and the ocean should be i think it's back here i don't know if you can see it but i like these types of pictures and i love the colors there's a reason i always like the colors yellow and blue light blue and I always wondered, why is it that I like it? And of course, it's the sun and the sky. It's what I'm drawn to. And I don't know, you know, sometimes I say to you guys that we feel stronger what is good and bad for everybody. So never take your own sensitivities and abilities for granted. You see, some people become numb and I always call it the gray area where life is maintainable but it's not really there are no highlights and the low lights are not that low but in my case in our case I think it is much more important you know there is less of a gray area so we can get very sick very quickly if our life is not in tune with who we are you know what I mean but look at it as a warning sign and don't ignore the warning sign. Don't say, oh, okay, I'm doomed for bad health. Well, if you live in an unhealthy situation, yes, of course, you are going to deteriorate maybe faster than RH positive people. But also the warning signs are very, very clear. So if you are uh, allowing yourself to let your warning signs guide you, then maybe you'll be much better off than most of the people on the planet.